Now, this is the legendary General Petraeus, the one that the conservatives told us is never wrong about anything. That's a demigod. That represents all that is right about America. Now, if he says close get mode, does that help you at all? Probably not. So let's go to his views on torture. Still talking to Martha McKellen from Fox News. The former vice president has talked about waterboarding, which I know you've spoken against. Um, he says that you know, it was only used on three people and that he believes that it saved lives. Well, my thoughts are that it's time to quit arguing about the past, probably take the rearview mirrors off this bus and look to the future. And again, if you start with the concept that we ought to live our values, uh, that's exactly what we should do as we move forward. The argument for having that discussion now is that there's always the possibility that a suspect could be in custody and an attack could be imminent. Well, I mean, that's always the debate, the doomsday right. scenario. And that one I will ha be happy to leave with, uh, again, our, our judicial system uh, to determine whether there might be an exception that would require extraordinary but very rapid approval uh, to deal with. Uh, but for the vast majority of the cases, our experience downrange, if you will, uh, is that the techniques that are in the, the Army Field Manual that lays out how we treat detainees, how we interrogate them, uh, those techniques uh, work. Uh, that's our experience uh, in this business. So is sending this signal that we're not going to use these kind of techniques anymore, what kind of impact does that have on people who do us harm in, in, the, in the field that you operate in? Well, actually what I would ask is, does that not take away from uh, our enemies uh, a tool which, again, they've beaten us around the head and shoulders in the court of public opinion? Uh, when we have taken steps that have violated the Geneva Convention, uh, we rightly have been criticized. And so as we move forward, I think it's important to, again, uh, live our values, to live the agreements that we have made uh, in the international justice arena, uh, and to practice those. Well, two relevant things out there. One, he says, look, how much clearer do I have to be? It doesn't help us. It hurts us. Our enemies beat us over the head with this propaganda tool. So uh, on the very rare possible taking time bomb scenario, which he doesn't even concede is realistic, uh, that is up to the judicial system to determine whether we should or shouldn't do uh, any uh, extra techniques outside of the Army Field Manual. But he said, in reality, the great majority of the cases, it doesn't help at all, and then it winds up being used as propaganda that kills more troops. The second thing he said there is he admitted that we went outside the Geneva Conventions. And uh, yesterday we told you about this, and now there's tape of it. He said, look, when we went outside the Geneva Conventions, it did nothing but hurt us. And did you get a sense of the leading questions from the Fox anchor? She's like, well, you know, if we had this information and they're looking to hurt us, shouldn't we get it? And he's like, uh, no, we should live our values. And there's other ways to get that information without hurting our troops. So the legendary General Petraeus has weighed in, so I assume this debate is over, unless Sean Hannity's going to claim he knows better than General Petraeus. Uh, but apparently this did not go a long way in convincing the Fox anchors because afterwards uh, Martha McCallum and another Fox anchor had this discussion. Very yes, interesting. It, it, it is very interesting. And here's a man who, who straddles the two administrations, you know, the Bush administration and, and now Obama. And sure. clearly, uh, you know, he works for, his, for the commander in chief, and that's very clear. Uh, but he does differentiate himself on this issue of what some are calling torture and what others call enhanced interrogation techniques and saying that he has never supported them. And he was part of writing interrogation techniques and manuals. Uh, and he firmly believes that there are, you know, enough ways out there uh, to achieve the goals that need to be made. And as he said right there, he thinks that the judicial system is the place to handle uh, whether or not extreme measures, extreme circumstances sure. might call for extreme measures. But he said, you know, as a soldier, that's not that's not well, my decision. Well, values are often alterable and fungible during times of war. Classically, for example, mm -hmm. President Lincoln suspended the writ of habeas corpus. And so while values are very, very important, sometimes they need to be moved around a little bit under exigent yeah. circumstances. War. And <laughs> I love it. Fox Anchor saying, values? Who needs some stinking values? Well, I thought your whole conservative ideology was about protecting American values. Didn't you, you know, the culture wars, et cetera, et cetera? But when it's in inconvenient and you want to do a little torture, you say, well, values are fungible and it depends on the circumstances. Do we really want values? We can move those around, can't we?
Classic Fox News, man. Stay classy, San Diego. JR. Uh, did you also notice? Um, well, you know, I mean, he did work. He's kind of straddles both administrations. When he was working with the Bush administration, he was saying the things we want to do. But, you know, he's working for this commander in chief, so he probably has his arm twisted to say what he wants him to now. Exactly. Of course. Back when he was working for Bush, how can you question his credibility? How dare you? Now, look, I question his credibility. I say, look, the guy likes to get promoted, and he's going to say things that uh, Bush likes, and that's how he got promoted. Right? And he said, how dare you, man? That's a gentle picture. Bow your head. And now that he's working for Obama as commander-in-chief, all of a sudden, Oh, this guy Petrus guy, I mean, you know, he's working for boys, now he's working for a boy, I don't know about this guy, yeah, move around the values. <laughs> See, I, apparently that's how it rolls. And by the way, w what is my opinion on General Petraeus? Take it with a grain of salt. Yes, he's a political general who knows how to move up the ranks, and of course, and partly he should follow his commander in chief, obviously. Uh, and partly he shouldn't be doing propaganda for his commander in chief, and I've seen him do it in the past. So take it with a grain of salt. But this is the guy that they said would never get anything wrong. So there it is. Can't get enough of the Young Turks? Well, then subscribe to the TYT's YouTube channel. What's the matter with you?